here, they can see on both screens. This is the, um, the light button and then the zoom feature here. Um, so this is how it's used inside the service. So the speculum is placed. I use this as my light source and sort of enter it in the cervix, uh, into the speculum. And then I'm using here a camera um, so I can visualize the um, focus and the details on the camera in front of me as I enter it. Actually, usually I'm facing the patient. <laughs> this is awkward. So it's really straightforward. You just move into your about three centimeters from, um, from the cervix until you get a uh, adequate focus. If you then wanted to examine the lesion with a green filter, you press the light button again. Going in through the speculum, I have the light on, and then I move it to the cervix, that's better, um, until I'm about three centimeters away from the cervix, and then I have a clear view. At that point, if I am satisfied with the zoom, I just switch to the green filter. Okay. Um, and then if I feel like I need more of a zoom, I can hit the, the manual zoom and then go. So really in practice, you don't use that zoom as much. This would really be in cases where, ooh, that's clear. In cases where you really were concerned about cancer or you, you couldn't differentiate. Um, what kind of lesion it is.